So we motivate merge sort using an example uh, or using an observation, which is that if I have two arrays that are already sorted, I can merge them together fairly simply in ON. So in ON in the size of, of the combined array. And so here's what I do. So I've got two arrays here, uh, the one on top, 1, 8, 9, 12, already sorted. The one on bottom, 2, 5, 7, 10, already sorted. So how can I merge them into one uh, combined sorted array? Well, essentially I look at the first item from both and I pick the smaller one. This is a, I merging them into an array sorted in ascending order. So I take the smaller item from the two arrays and then I just continue this process. So I look at the first item left in both arrays. In this case, the smallest is in the bottom array, which is two. And then also the next couple are also from the bottom array. But now I'm at the point where the next smallest one, when I look at the first two, is from the first array, the top array. So I use those. And then I go back to the bottom and then go back to the top. But in every step, I'm only comparing two values. This is what's really important. So in every step of this merge, the only two values I have to think about are the two that are at the front or the next values in each array, right? I don't have to look at the rest of the arrays uh, because I know that they're already sorted. So the last, the smallest item from each array is in the front, essentially. It's the last one, it's the next one left of the ones that, that haven't moved into the merged portion. Um, and so if you think about this, so let's go through this again. I've got two arrays of size four. Um, how many steps am I performing? Well, at every step I do one comparison and I put one item into the merged array. So this turns out to be take eight steps. So it's ON where N is the size of the combined array. And if I have two arrays of size eight, then it would be O16. If I have one array of size eight, one array of size four, it's O12. So it's always ON in the size of the merged array but it's always ON, right? Which is pretty cool. When we looked at earlier sorting algorithms, we saw N squared behavior, and now we're seeing that there is something that I can do in ON, which is that if I have two sorted arrays, I can merge them in ON. So can I build? So the question of course becomes, well, where do those sorted arrays come from, right? And that's sort of the, the next insight that we look into when we start talking about merge sort, right? Which is that how can I start with, it, it seems like if I start with two sorted arrays, I can combine them relatively efficiently. But where do the sorted arrays come from? Uh, we'll talk about that next.